Define biological problem. A biological problem is a question related to living organisms that is either asked by someone or comes in biologist's mind by himself. Hayatiyati masla ki wazahat kare. Hayatiyati masla jandaro se mutalib ek sawal hai jo ya to pucha jata hai. Kisi ki taraf se ya khud se mahir hayatiyat ke zahan mein aata hai. What is biological method? The scientific method in which biological problems are solved is termed as biological method. Example, study of malaria. Hayatiyati tarifa kiya hai. Wo sciencey tarifa jisme hayatiyati masail ko hal kiya jata hai. Ise hayatiyati tarifa kaha jata hai. Misal, malaria ka mutala. What is necessary for the formulation of a hypothesis? A great deal of careful and creative thinking is necessary for the formulation of a hypothesis. مفروغہ کی تشکیل کے لیے کیا ضروری ہے مفروغہ کی تشکیل کے لیے بہت زیادہ محتاط اور تخلیقی سوچ ضروری ہے کسی ایک حیاتیاتی مسئلے کا نام بتائیں ملیریا ایک حیاتیاتی مسئلہ ہے define scientific method the method which is used by all scientists to solve a problems is called scientific method سائنسی طریقہ کار کی وضاحت کریں وہ طریقہ جو تمام سائنسدان کسی مسئلے کو حل کرنے کے لیے استعمال کرتے ہیں اسے سائنسی طریقہ کہتے ہیں Differentiate between scientific and biological methods The method used by all scientists to solve a problem is called scientific method while the same scientific method used to solve biological problem is called biological method سائنسی اور حیاتیاتی طریقوں میں فرق کریں تمام سائنسدان کسی مسئلے کو حل کرنے کے لیے جو طریقہ استعمال کرتے ہیں اسے سائنسی طریقہ کہتے ہیں جبکہ حیاتیاتی مسئلے کو حل کرنے کے لیے وہی سائنسی طریقہ استعمال کیا جاتا ہے جسے حیاتیاتی طریقہ کہا جاتا ہے Define hypothesis. The tentative explanation of the observations is called hypothesis. مفروغہ کی تعریف کریں مشاہدات کی عارضی وضاحت کو مفروضہ کہا جاتا ہے Define theory. The hypotheses that stand the test of time are called theories. Example, cell theory. Nazariya ki wazahat kare. Wo mafroogh jo wakt ki kasoti par khade hote hain nazariyat kehlate hain. Misal, seal theory. Differentiate between theory and law. Theory, a hypothesis that stands the test of time is called theory. It can be changed in case of new evidences. For example, Darwin's theory of evolution. Law, a scientific law is a uniform, constant fact of nature. It cannot be changed. For example, Newton's law of gravity. Nazariya or Kanun me fark kari. Nazariya, ek mafruza jo wakt ki kasoti par khada ho, usse nazariya kaha jata hai. Nay shawahid ki surat me usse tabdeel kiya ja sakta hai. Misal ke taur par darun ka nazariya irtifa. Kanun, ek sciencey kanun fitrat ki aksa, mustafil hakikat hai. اسے تبدیل نہیں کیا جا سکتا مثال کے طور پر نیوٹن کا کشش سفل کا قانون ڈیفائن لا اف ا تھیوری سروائو سچ ڈاؤٹفل اپروچ اینڈ کنٹینیوز ٹو بی سپورٹڈ بائی ایکسپیریمنٹل ایویڈنس ایٹ بیکم ا لا اف پرنسپل لا کی وضاحت کریں اگر کوئی تھیوری اس طرح کے مشتبہ نقطہ نظر سے بچ جاتا ہے اور تجرباتی شواہد اس کی حمایت جاری رکھتے ہیں تو یہ پرنسپل کا لا بن جاتا ہے وٹ ار دی کیریکٹرسٹکس اف ا گڈ ہائپوتھیسس A good hypothesis should have the following characteristics, it should be a general statement. It should be a tentative idea. Ek achche mafroogha ki khususiyat kiya hai. Ek achche mafroogha mein darj zel khususiyat honi chahiye, ye ek aam bayan hona chahiye. Ye ek arzi khayal hona chahiye. Define deduction and its formation. The logical consequences of a hypothesis are called deductions. Formation, the hypothesis is taken as true and expected results, deduction, are drawn from it. Deduction or iski tashkeel ki wazahat kare. Kisi mafroogha ke mantaqi natayich ko deductions kehte hain. Tashkeel, mafroogha ko sach ke taur par liya jata hai, aur mutawakke natayich deductions is se aks kiye jate hain. Define observation, opinion which is made with the help of five senses of vision, hearing, smell, taste and touch is called observation. مشاہدے کی تعریف کریں نظر سماعت سونگ ذائقہ اور لمس کی پانچ حواس کی مدد سے جو رائے بنائی جاتی ہے اسے مشاہدہ کہتے ہیں What are different kind of observations? Observations may be qualitative and quantitative. مختلف قسم کے مشاہدات کیا ہیں 
مشاہدات معیار اور مقداری ہو سکتے ہیں differentiate between qualitative and quantitative observation quantitative observation are considered more accurate than qualitative one because the former are invariable and measurable and can be recorded in term of number qualitative or quantitative mushahade mein farq kare quantitative mushahade ko qualitative ke muqable mein zyada durust samjha jata hai kyunki quantitative mushahade tabdeel nahi hote aur qabil paimaish hote hain aur unko taadad ke lihaz se record kiya ja sakta write three steps of solving biological problem in solving biological problem biologists takes following steps observation hypothesis formulation deduction hayatiyati masla ko hal karne ke teen marahil likhe hayatiyati masla ko hal karne mein mahirin hayatiyat darj zail iktamad karte hain mushahida mafroogh ki tashkeel katoti what is plasmodium Plasmodium is a microorganism which completes its life cycle in mosquito and man and causes malaria in animals and humans. Plasmodium kya hai? Plasmodium ek microorganism hai jo machhar aur insaan mein apni zindagi ka dur mukammal karta hai aur janwaron aur insano mein malaria ka sabab banta hai. How was plasmodium discovered? In 1878 a French army physician Laverin took small amount of blood from a malarial patient. and after examining under microscope noticed some tiny creatures which after 5 years was given a name plasmodium plasmodium kaise daryaft hua 1878 mein ek francisi fauji dr laviran ne malaria ke mareez se thodi miqdar mein khoon liya aur khurdbeen se muayna karne ke baad kuch choti jandaron ko dekha jinhe 5 saal ke baad plasmodium ka naam diya gaya what is the cause of malaria A tiny creature, plasmodium is the cause of malaria. Malaria ki wajah kya hai? Ek choti si makhluk, plasmodium malaria ki wajah hai. What is meaning of malaria? The Italian words mala means bad and aria means air. Malaria ka kya matlab hai? Italian alfaz mala ka matlab hai bura aur aria ka matlab hawa hai. How does plasmodium enter the body of a mosquito? When a mosquito bites and sucks the blood of malarial patient the plasmodium enter in its body. Plasmodium machhar ke jism mein kaise dakhil hota hai? Jab machhar malaria ke mareez ka khoon kaatta aur chosta hai to plasmodium uske jism mein dakhil hota hai.